We are now live. Hello. Hello, everyone. everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome back to our Down to Earth cooking demos live and in action. I don't know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Friday, so, you know, we made it. Um, um, hi, guys. How are you? Uh, let us know where you're uh, watching from. We love to see where our friends are watching from. And um, today we're going to make the ultimate comfort food, local comfort food, which is local moco. Uh, so actually, this is, of course, it's going to be plant-based local moco. So you can see d2e.co slash local moco for the recipe. And um, we're going to do, you know, because we still want to have our favorite foods, right? So we're going to make sure that we have the flavors, but just uh, change the ingredients a little bit. So I got you on the flavor. Don't even worry about <laughs> it. It's gonna be good. And um, you know we're we're pretty creative when we have to be when we're trying to be plant based, right? So I'm gonna show you three egg options. Wow. With local local. So get ready to have your mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give some um, people a few more minutes to get in to the room and yeah. we'll get started. Um, Amber, you know, for just in case someone doesn't know what a local mocha is, can you um, describe it? Of course. So think about this, okay? You've got a nice bed of rice, fluffy white rice or brown rice, whatever you want, or quinoa if you want to go the alternate grain route. So you got your rice and then you got a patty, like a hamburger patty. And over that, you put gravy all over, okay? Gravy all over. And then you put a fried egg on top. So that's like the basic of a local moco, but you know, when we're doing it plant-based, we gotta get a little creative. And usually when we do that uh, plant-based local moco, we have a tofu scramble on top. So it's like a scrambled egg, um, which I will show you how to do. Um, but I also show you two fried egg concoctions that look like a fried egg. Mm. So, oh my gosh, it's fried egg, fried egg. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start off by putting a little oil in my pan. Just a touch to get it kind of uh, just lubricated. And then we're gonna cut up our tofu. So this is super firm tofu. This is my favorite. Um, this is called Wildwood, this brand. And it is so densely compacted. It is, it's in water, but it's not like, um, you know, submerged in the liquid, you don't have to press it. So it comes out just like this. So all I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna just slice off a little tiny piece and we're gonna use the rest for our next, um, our scrambled tofu. Um, we have a couple of people just joined. So what are okay. you doing with this tofu? Oh, so I'm gonna make this into our fried egg. Okay. So you got your slice, it's like, hmm, I would say this is like a quarter inch thick. You can do a little thinner too if you like it more crispy. And then I'm just going to cut a little tiny hole in here. <laughs> and you can see where I'm kind of going with this, mm, right? Mm, right? Mm, mm, mm. Um, and then of course this, you could do it just like this, but I kind of like the egg aesthetic. Even though I don't eat eggs, I like to make it look like, you know. Cause when you're, when you're cooking for your like meat loving friends, uh, you kind of want to show off, right? So like, you want to make it look a little impressive. Yeah. And you want it to sort of look as much as possible like the original, so it's recognizable. Right. So I got some salt and pepper here. I'm just going to lightly season, because we need to have it seasoned. Get the flavor in there. All right, now I'm going to put this onto my hot pan and just, let it kind of sizzle there for a second. And then um, while that's going, I'm gonna show you the yolk part, which is the easiest part of the recipe because you just use just egg. Oh. So um, this is a really cool product. It's made of mostly mung beans and um, it's just a ready-made yolk. You just shake it up and you just mm -hmm. scramble it however you like um, normally. And but where do you find this in the uh, down to earth? It's in the chill department, next to the tofu usually. Mm -hmm. So yeah, make sure this isn't sticking. Just egg in the chill next to the tofu. Yes. Which is funny because we're making the outside with tofu. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of tofu in this uh, recipe today, but that's okay. 
because we use, uh, you know, non-GMO soy, it's all good. So you want one side to get crispy first, and then we're going to pour this yolk in here and let it kind of go. I'm gonna turn up my heat just a little bit. It's on like a medium, it's on like a medium high. Okay, so let's see how this guy's doing. It's so cute. It's so cute. I Little love egg. that you took the time to cut the edges because it just looks more realistic that way. Right. Okay. I like to, you know, we, we eat with our eyes first, right? Yeah. So we gotta, we gotta make sure we get the aesthetics in there. So I'm just gonna pour this in here really carefully. Oh, wow. Because, you know. I've never used this. So I'm curious really? to see how it looks. Whoa. It's like just That's, like an egg. That looks... That was crazy. Just egg. Ha ha ha. Just egg. It's just full of jokes today. <laughs> um, okay, so you're going to just let this go until this solidifies. Wow. Um, How long takes, does that usually take? It takes like a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So while this is going, I'm actually going to show you the second egg. Okay, so this was our first egg. Mm -hmm. And Amber cut regular tofu with a mm -hmm. hole, and then she put in the just egg again. Yep. That is so funny. Okay. It already looks like a, like it really a broken does. yolk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing. Turn so that down. was egg number one, and she's going to show us two more egg variations. Yes. So I'm showing you the fast ones first. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the, the fastest one because yeah. it's just to just use this product. <laughs> ah. This is called the bee leaf egg. Um, this is kind of a newer product to our shelves. You can find this in the frozen um, section of our stores. And it is just a fried egg made of soy and um, some other stuff. The mm -hmm. ingredients are, yeah, just like non GMO soybean. There's a lot of pea starch in here, mm -hmm. um, paprika, and carrot extract. Nice. What more could you want? Just like okay. a simple. So this oh. is what it looks like. Wow. And I didn't thaw this uh, for long enough, so I'm not actually going to show you how to make it. But it's it's so easy. You just take it out. How long papers. do you um, need to thaw it for? F overnight. Oh, overnight. <laughs> and I just bought this. So <laughs> wait. So you have to buy this in the frozen section and then keep it in the freezer, or can you move it to the refrigerator to make it? Faster? You would move it to the fridge to okay. thaw it. Yeah. So yep. And then there's wow. there's papers between. There's six eggs in here. Yes. Yeah. And then you just uh, slap it on like a little burger and you're good to go. Can you pull one out so we can see what it sure. looks like? I'll be delicate. I don't know if it's... It's still Whoa. a little icy, but um, yeah. So it's just like this. Just make sure you take the paper off because one time, oh my gosh, I did not do that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That is... That really looks like a, an egg. It seriously does. And like... It's thin on the edges, so like, you know how eggs, they get that little crispy crunch yeah. on the side? It happens, like, it is so crazy. That is cool. It is amazing. So. So how many are in there? There's six in here. So, okay, yep. and you just fry it up in a pan. Easy as that. Wow. So let me check on our little guy over here. Oh, he's stuck. Okay. Oh, wow, it's, it's um, congealed a lot. Yes. Okay, so I. Ah! I didn't get enough uh, <laughs> oil there. That's okay. Our, our, our cookware is a little, uh, she's, she's been through a lot, so. Wow, um, okay. But it's still cooking, so don't worry. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper onto this egg, yep. too. Just get her nice we, and seasoned. We just had a lot of people join, so oh, sure. I just want to reiterate that this is regular tofu that Amber cut, and then mm -hmm. she put in the middle this just mm -hmm. egg. Which is vegan. All everything's vegan today. Yes. We're just making egg substitutions. Yeah. So we got we got a lot of egginess going on. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's one thing that people who want to eat more plant based they struggle with because eggs are very versatile. Yes. So yes. it's hard to give it up, but you were showing you it's very easy to have very delicious substitutes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I didn't know how long it's gonna take one of us to make that pun. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're almost done with this one. I'm gonna actually prepare the um, the local moco for this egg because I'm making two. So. So wait, we're. Okay, so you're. This is our first local moco, and then you're gonna show us one more egg option. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yep. 
So I've just made some rice and I have a little burger on top. This is a light life patty, mm -hmm. but we also have Beyond Burger, we mm -hmm. have Gardein, mm -hmm. we have like so many different burgers. Yeah. It's actually crazy. We got Can we Boca see burger. the package? Yes. And why did you choose this one? Um, because it was on sale. <laughs> nice. That's a good um good reason for a lot of right? things. So it's actually like five twenty nine for this pack. Mm. Normally it's like I think like seven something. Oh, nice. But um, yeah, I don't want to date this. Uh, if you're watching yeah. this in the future, sorry. <laughs> it might not be on sale. It's probably not on sale. But um, it's this one is really good. It's very um, like when you cook it. Maybe this is a little gross, but like. The beet juice, I think. I think they have beet juice in here. Mm. But there's something in here that makes it look like there's like blood in it. Um, so if that grosses you out, maybe try a another burger. One. But <laughs> then I was just like, well, what am I making? Like, <laughs> it just looks yeah. extra juicy. It does. Yeah. Okay, so we got our rice and our patty. Okay. And I'm going to um, put the gravy all over. You know, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is just some brown gravy. I'll show you the mix. The package in a little bit but you know you just gotta get liberal with it get it uh yep. get it all up on there put as much as you want on there make sure it gets on the rice yeah because you want the rice to taste good too that's the most important part basically on we just rice. we don't want to see the burger anymore <laughs> <laughs> we love her but she needs to be hidden <laughs> and did you make this gravy or i made it well i i prepared it so we have our um this one's called quick gravy golden, mm. golden delicious and we have actually tons of different gravy packets uh, but this is just the one that caught my eye today i've yeah i think i've tried them all and mm -hmm. they're all really good and this one yeah. happens to be gluten-free too so. nice yes this whole thing is actually gluten-free yeah these, these burgers are they don't have gluten in it oh wow either, so yeah there that's nice go. accidentally gluten-free thought you love it <laughs> okay so let me get this egg this wow, guy. this already looks amazing without the egg. Okay. Whoa, we'll get the little crunchy Whoa. side up on there. That Ooh. looks crazy. So, oh my gosh, it's yeah. so cute. Mm. So, if you're like me, now you would just squirt a bunch of shiracha on here mm -hmm. or ketchup too. You could put that mm -hmm. on there. Or I'm more just gravy. To, I'm just gonna garnish a little bit, you know. Nice. Well, uh, well, this doesn't look as pretty as I thought it would. <laughs> but there you go you got your little locomo oh my gosh number one looks so done. good and that um the size of the t the tofu egg is perfect on top of the right on top of the thing because actually can you bring back the vegan egg yes look how monster this one is yeah this one is just wow <laughs> but actually that's kind of good for locomo because you want it to kind of dominate yeah um and you know in hindsight i could have actually just cut it this way yeah <laughs> but but this know. one is so cute it. yeah right if you're just eating at home and you're not you don't have to worry about how it looks and don't worry about yeah but i mean hello that's really awesome your friends will be like what the heck thought you were vegan yeah you can be like, here know. i'll do a, a little close-up for close everyone up, okay. rice check Br patty veggie patty check gravy check egg Everything you want. vegan egg check and it smells amazing. I really wish you guys could smell this. I can't wait to eat this later. <laughs> I smell like I'm, it's, I smell, it smells like I'm in my favorite like plate lunch place. Right? Yeah. You know, like yeah. when you're a kid, you just, it you smells, have that one place. Yeah, it smells like, uh, for me, it's Rainbow's Drive-In. Oh, yes. Yeah, they really know how to put a ton of gravy on everything. <laughs> but this looks awesome. Yay. We'll put her on the side. I'm gonna eat this for lunch, don't you Yay. Worry. Don't you worry. Okay, so the next uh, egg, uh, I'm just, I just put a little bit of oil. Um, you could also use dairy-free butter. I actually would recommend that, but mm -hmm. I just didn't have any in the kitchen today, so. Okay, so this um, is our third egg. Third egg. It takes, a, you know, a little bit of extra oil, but, um, you know, this is, this is the decadent version. Mm -hmm. If you want, um, you know, more uh, health-conscious version, you could, you know choose one of the other eggs okay so this is like my favorite scrambled egg recipe mm -hmm. ever okay mm -hmm. um it's based on gordon ramsay's uh, scrambled eggs but of course we're not using eggs right so we have to get creative um so i'm gonna take some green onions mm -hmm. and put it into here okay mm -hmm. Ooh, i should actually i'm saving some for the garnish <laughs> 
Okay, so it's like we're creating um, an infused oil, if you will. Okay. So we want this oil to be completely green onionified. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. So, sorry about that. So once you get your green onions kind of going there, you would actually want them to sweat for a little longer. Hmm. But, um, you know, in the interest of keeping things uh, quick, I'm just gonna go to the next step, which is our minced garlic. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if we're making it at home, how long do you think it usually takes? Um, maybe like a, another minute, mm, like okay. maybe two to oh. three minutes until you can really smell it. Mm, not that, not, not, not too much time. Yeah, not that much. Okay, so we have the green onion oil, infused oil, mm -hmm. and, and then you minced added garlic. minced garlic. I'm trying to avoid this uh, egg <laughs> catastrophe we had over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's live cooking, you know? Yeah. This is, nobody's perfect in the kitchen. And what I like about this is we don't have to make cook another pan or make yes. an, use another pan to wash later. That is exactly why I did it in this order. <laughs> okay. Oh, smells so good. Oh my gosh. You know what I call this? The starter pack. Like, oh. Because it's like, it's the starter pack for every recipe. You have like some kind of onion, some kind of garlic, mm -hmm. and you're frying it. And then somebody asks, oh, what are you cooking? But it's literally just onions and garlic. garlic. <laughs> so that's how you know. Okay, this looks good. Uh, again, once you add the garlic, you want to give it like one or two extra minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but now we're going to go ahead and add in, we're going to flavor this oil even more with some paprika and some turmeric and some onion and garlic powder. Okay, can you say that again? So it's turmeric, yep. smoked paprika, and onion and garlic powder. Okay, and don't worry, we'll have that on the recipe. Yes, this is all on the recipe on, oh, on our Oh man, it looks delicious. Oh my gosh. So it's almost gonna form like a little paste. Oh. A little pasty. And the turmeric is um, a really good herb for anti-inflammatory, but it's also for the color. Mm, yeah. So you're not gonna get a whole lot of turmeric uh, flavor. I know CCR, uh, Community Outreach uh, Team Leader, is like obsessed with turmeric. Mm -hmm. So sorry, CC, this is not a super turmeric <laughs> turmeric flavor, but it is still gonna be in there. Okay, so I'm letting that kind of vibe over there. And now I'm gonna add in our blended Firm, nope, blended soft tofu, silken tofu. Wait, so say that one more time. <laughs> okay. Blended silken tofu. So I okay. just took some silken tofu and literally just blended it up. Okay. So, I mean, you guys know how to do that, right? You don't have to. Yeah. You don't need me to tell you that. But this is the game changer, okay? So this is what's going to make that creamy scrambled egg. You know, like how it's like fluffy at a buffet? Have you ever been to one of those where there's like a mm -hmm. buffet line and it's like, mm -hmm. it's like there's milk in it or something. Like it's mm. just creamy. Yeah. So this, and it's like, you can see it's very jiggly. So it's soft, but it still holds its like shape. So I'm just going to pour that right in. Here. Wow. You're blowing my mind here. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. When I came in today, I was like, I don't know what that bowl of whiteness <laughs> is over there. Oh my gosh. So this again is blended soft tofu, and yes. that's the tofu you silken find tofu. silken tofu. Yeah. That's not in the chill aisle. That's in the grocery aisle. Yes. The Whoa. Dry so, so was that one? This bowl was just one, one package. Yeah, this whole package. Okay. Wow, it looks like, like a lot more than that package. Right. I think because okay. it's blended, it just mm. turns into liquid, and yeah. Looks. So see how it's like turning yellow? Yes. I might add a little extra turmeric. Mm just to give it a little more um, of a color. Yep. Wow. Cause we're gonna add some more stuff that's gonna make it uh, ooh. This looks like a thick country gravy. Yeah. Wow, okay. But this will thicken up over time. Mm -hmm. Especially once we add the last ingredient, mm -hmm. which is da -da -da, the rest of our tofu from before. Ah! <laughs> So we didn't let it go to waste. We will never waste it. So we have these little pieces. Mm -hmm. Just gonna start to crumble them in here. But if you don't have leftover tofu, how much tofu are we putting in here? Just a block. A whole block. Yeah. Okay. And you're crumbling it in. Yep. So in the recipe, I wrote thumb size. <laughs> I may change that. <laughs> it's maybe it's a little hard to understand, but like. Just basically like, you know, like that. Mm, mm, pretty mm. pretty substantial. Like a ping pong ball. 
smaller? Yeah, I think smaller. Bigger? What's smaller than a ping pong ball? Uh, maybe like a bambucha marble. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a marble. <laughs> thumb size is good. Cause thumb size, yeah. This is their thumb. It's like, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. So this is why I use the super firm one because we're going to fold this in and we're going to need it to be very, um, what's the word? It's like stand up to a lot of uh, action. <laughs> mm, mm. It needs to be sturdy. Yeah, sturdy. So this is extra firm again, mm -hmm. right? Oh, super firm. Super firm. Yeah. But extra firm is also fine. Extra firm is fine. But if you can find super firm, that's yeah. good. If you can't find super firm, um, you should make sure that you drain your extra firm very mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So that there's not any extra liquid mm. uh, coming up. Because tofu's cold. Like, my hands are really cold right now. Yeah. <laughs> and once you have liquid in there, it's just going to make it worse. So, Okay. So I have some big pieces in there, some mm -hmm. small ones. Nice and chunky nice in there. Nice and chunky. So we have blended tofu with super super firm tofu. Yes. Wow. Just tofu on top of tofu. Yes, it is amazing. Ooh, I just keep splashing this no way. I mean, I love tofu because it because you because of all the flavor you just added, it just soaks mm -hmm. it up and it just tastes oh, amazing yeah. after. And it's always really inexpensive and yes. easy to find but you should only buy it at down to earth of course yes <laughs> tofu standards are very high over here you'd be very surprised yeah we do eat a lot of tofu so our <laughs> standards are really high so i just wow. added some salt and pepper to kind of spice it up a little extra mm -hmm. and like tell me not this looks like mm -hmm. eggs like i'm I just shocked made eggs. and it's creamy too like that's the thing that scrambled um tofu scramble usually mm. lacks like mm. vegans i i'm a vegan i love tofu scramble but it's dry a lot of times you know yeah. what i mean like you gotta have something kind of moist in there to get it to yeah be, i mean look how fluffy it is like yeah hello it looks so real i'm kind of freaking out <laughs> <laughs> and you have that um onion infused mm -hmm. and garlic infused oil in there oh gosh so it smells like, so good mm. Wow. Okay, so now let's assemble the last, uh, the last loco moco. Yay! And then we can eat it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so you know the drill. We're going to yep. put gravy all over. I'm going to use the same spoon because... So again, we have... Is that just regular brown rice? This is, yep. We have our Light Life burger patty. You can mm -hmm. use any burger patty you like. Yeah. Your choice of gravy. Oh, and someone said... Add vegan butter to make it extra yes. creamy. Yes. I'm assuming you're saying add vegan butter to the tofu scramble. Yes. Actually, in the recipe, it, I do have the vegan butter on there, but mm -hmm. I just didn't have it with me today. Oh. But yes, the butter, oh my gosh. It is, it'll take it to the next level for real. Yeah. Um, okay, so now so, we have to But do now that you showed us, it's like you don't really, you, you don't need the butter if you don't have it at home. Right, right. Um, okay, so let's get this. Oh gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, wait, I, I gotta do this. It's I got so pressure. Good. Okay, Whoa. Here we go. Sorry, our, the lighting is blowing out. Okay. okay. Let me Whoa. try and get it from the other side. So, because this is a tofu scramble, it doesn't, of course, look like a traditional loco moco, yeah. but it kind of almost looks better. I mean, this plate is heavy. Yeah. Let me tell you, this is substantial food right here. This is not <laughs> a light lunch. Oh, it's not a light lunch at all. Boom. Right here. Tell me not. Wow. Tell me not. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put this down so I can do like a, a little close-up close action here. Oh wow. Gosh. I really can't wait to eat this. Like, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Oh, here, oh this it is super heavy guys <laughs> look at that whoa looks so yummy rice gravy patty scrambled tofu mega scrambled tofu eggs wow they both look amazing right so this one if you have a little extra time mm -hmm. don't have too much time but still want something good so it's kind of like easy <laughs> Yeah, kind of and honestly, medium. These you could make it without these eggs. You can make them for breakfast, for your brunch. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Father's Day is coming up. He would love a loco moco or even just mm. some, some brunch. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah i make i make these eggs independently yeah <laughs> all the time right. <laughs> <laughs> so this tofu scramble one do you think that it's something we can prepare ahead of time or would you recommend it making mm -hmm. it fresh i would recommend making it fresh just because the oil or actually i mean i've never prepared it ahead of time but yeah, i'm wondering it, if the oil is good mm. um, you know to be infusing it didn't take you know, a long time think, so it probably yeah. tastes better fresh yeah, I, I mean, it tastes good fresh, so. It's a brunch dish, not a <laughs> you got five minutes to eat kind of dish. Mm -hmm. This is a, like, you're taking your time, you're hanging out with your friends, you're catching up on all your gossip. Yep. And you're just eating a lot of food. Yep. And nowadays, you know, I have uh, Zoom brunches. Right, right, right. A zunch. Yeah, a zunch. <laughs> it's so funny because we actually, it's actually nicer because I get to eat everything I actually want to eat and I don't have to share it with anyone. Oh, my gosh. It's actually it's so better fun. than real brunch. There you go. <laughs> brunch hack. <laughs> we got you. Okay, so let me get the recipe for okay. everyone to show. So the recipe has all three of the egg? It has, I want to say it has, it has the tofu scramble. Of them. I'll double check it uh, and make sure that they have, the tofu scramble is definitely the main one on mm -hmm. there, but um, I'll put the recipe for the fried egg with mm -hmm. tofu. Mm-hmm. So this is where the recipe can be found. You can even just go to the website, downturf.org, and just type in local moco. You'll probably see it. It's called Broke, 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 broke the, the Mouth. mouth. Broke <laughs> nice. Because honestly, this will break your mouth. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's... I'm so sorry. <laughs> Actually, go to downturf.org slash shop and pick up the ingredients. <laughs> you can have a curbside pickup or we can deliver to you yeah. as well. So, um, yeah, check out the recipe, get your ingredients, get your weekend started right. Even make this for your brunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Mm -hmm. um, but if there's no other questions, we're going to head out and start our weekend off <laughs> by eating these. <laughs> Yay. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great weekend. We'll see you later.